Welcome back. You are still watching News Tonight. Farmers have been encouraged to embrace value addition if they are to gain from their sweat of farming. The private secretary to the president in charge of youth value addition, innovation and export promotion, Hilary Emmanuel Museke, says government is ready to help farmers and manufacturers get value for money. Pakani Community Grain Store is an agro-processing facility constructed under the Community Agriculture Infrastructure Improvement to provide value addition services to farmers in the sub-county and beyond. Mobilized by the locals, the facility was commissioned by the Minister of Local Government a month ago. Farmers bring their produce here and sell at relatively higher prices compared from individual buyers. Maize is later dried and grinded to produce second-class posho packaged in different kilograms, properly blended with a local name to attract local consumption. Here are Emmanuel Msoke, the private secretary to the president, in charge of youth, value addition, innovation and export promotion, says the initiative intends to promote homegrown production. It is trying to promote value addition among the district of Masindi to see that their incomes improve. So government has come up with a strategy to put industries in villages to create jobs and also improve people's incomes. So I'm very happy with the local government. If people utilize it very well, it will really change people's lives. There's no reason why maize should come from Asinda and go to Kampala. So let us put more factories in areas where different products are produced. That means that we shall have people's lives improving, taxes will improve, because when you add the value, it, um, improves on, uh, it increases your incomes. Mr. Msoke says the problem now remains with middlemen who exploit farmers, a problem they are steadily dealing with. This is what we should fight because middlemen take a lot of money away from our farmers. So by bringing uh, value addition facilities, the president is trying to eliminate uh, the exploitation of middlemen to our farmers. The chairperson Pakani sub county in Masindi, Frank Asimwe, says the facility serves farmers from approximately 84 villages in the sub county, but transport is a challenge to most farmers. Putting their produce to the, uh, to the value additional facility. Mm -hmm. And another one is uh, about market price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that is the major one. Even the roads. Mr. Msoke, commonly known as Kisanja. Together with a special presidential assistant on government pledges, Florence Ashaka and then a remobilizer Harriet Komuhimbo, we are joined by Masindi Resident District Commissioner Patrick Keihua and other district officials in Masindi to monitor government programs. <laughs> Florence Ashaka, Special Presidential Assistant on Government Pledges, reiterated government commitment to fulfill all it promised to the people of Masindi. And indeed, almost all in Western region have got their hyphas. But we are still also finding out uh, through the MP of Eastern and, uh, and the Northern part, find out whether there are some youth who have not yet received, but most of the districts had already received those hyphas. But for the petition that we got was from the Western region, which we actually covered. And I believe almost all these, these pledges will be honored. Bernard Higa, UBC TV. Masindi. So, when I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm going to be able to do it.